It's moving day for hundreds of refugee claimants and asylum seekers in our city. For months, they were living in two GTA dorms, and today they were moved to hotels across the GTA. They had to get out by August 9th in order to make way for the students coming in for the start of the school year. Well, here now to talk with me about this daunting task is uh, Mario Kala with uh, Costi. I understand the goal is to get them into permanent housing by the end of September. It's happening slowly, but, but it's happening. In fact, there were about 600 175 refugees initially in the uh, community colleges and it ended up that about uh, we, we have had to receive about uh, 330 the others were you know were able to find permanent housing so it's difficult but it's happening so tell me about these individuals and families I understand they they differ greatly in terms of their backstories save for the refugees from Syria that we saw in 2015 and 2016 it's very interesting because what we're finding is that uh, the, these refugee claimants have high levels of education 73 percent of them have post-secondary education nine out of ten speak English fluently I understand uh, the vast majority are coming from Nigeria um, what are some of the pressures that are forcing them out what we're seeing uh, with some of the families from Nigeria are issues around LGBTQ, uh, issues around uh, violence, escaping violence, uh, political persecution. What kind of assistance do you need? Well, the issue really is uh, that these contracts are till, that with the hotels till the end of September. So there's some pressure to make sure we can find them housing by then, and, and we think we can. Uh, so I, I think we're set for, for that. Uh, the question is, uh, there's more arrivals, but there are signs that, that the intake, the arrival numbers has slowed down. So we'll see how, how that goes. Where will those individuals be placed now that the dorms are out of the mix? So. Mayor Tory today announced that they, they have an agreement with, with the federal government where the federal government is actually looking at a regional plan. And so they're setting up like a transit center, I understand, in Cornwall. And this transit center will triage, that is, assess, you know, destinations, potential destinations for the refugees. So they'll be diverted to other communities. In fact, at Costi, we have heard from some of these municipalities, Chatham, Kent, Thunder Bay, Hamilton, who, who have said, look, we, we're willing to help. And in fact, there are jobs here that are going wanting. That's a more sustainable uh, approach than just, you know, continuing to grow the shelter system. Thank you so much for that, Mario. Thanks, you have uh, great organizations like Costi helping to find permanent housing for the hundreds of refugee claimants and asylum seekers in our city.